Okay, so let's jump into the video and talk about our data logging basics using our ECM Link software. Our data logging is going to be capturing the sensor information as our engine is running. We can either do this in a real-time streaming of the data, such as we'd find with a scan tool, or we can actually data log and capture the data so we can play it back, such as doing our wide open throttle tuning. We can play back a dyno run to figure out what was going on. If we had knock retard, if it was lean, if it was rich, how much boost we were running. We have all kinds of information we can log, and this is going to be a vital part of your tuning process. We're going to go over the basics in this video. So as we progress in the training course and move into the live training videos, you're going to have an idea exactly what to do with the data log you're going to be set up and ready to go to get your tuning started. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at our data logging feature in our ECM Link software. This is going to be a vital part of our tuning process or if we're going to do any kind of actual troubleshooting for sensors or information to try to figure out what's going on with the performance of our vehicle. So we have a couple things we need to talk about to get out of the way. First and foremost, let's go in here and connect to our vehicle. We can't do any actual data logging unless we are connected. So right now I'm connected to my vehicle. I have the key on, the engine off. So I've powered everything on, we're ready to hit our connect button here. We're gonna connect and allow the connect st connection status down here to move across. Once this gets all the way here to the right, we are gonna be fully connected and we're able to start our data logging. So right now we're showing that we are connected. We can see down here the device status showing here connected, ECM link 2G DSM V3. So we have a couple things with our data logging that we need to be aware of. We have a streaming function that's gonna allow us to actually stream the information out of our uh, ECU here and we can take a look at our sensor readings or any information we'd like. We can use this in our tuning process or we can actually capture the data to disk which is gonna be saving the actual log file to play back at a separate portion of time. Now, if I'm gonna be just going and doing some quick sensor checks or maybe just doing some basic tuning, I'll be using the streaming function. If I'm gonna be doing any actual wide open throttle pulls or anything where I wanna capture the data, I need to make sure I use the capture to disk feature. Now, before we get into that, we need to go and take a look here under the file name, under this data log setting, we'll find that it's gonna be showing us where our data logs are gonna be saving to. This is important if we wanna find them and play them back. So we can see here base directory, C drive, users, my name, ECM link, data logs. This is going to be the default folder where they save to. Next, it's going to be creating an auto subdirectory within this location right here. It's going to be saving the folder for the data logs under the logs, year, month, and then the actual data logs. It'll have the file name, the log, year, month, date. So we'll find that we have in this folder here a bunch of different folders that are going to be saved by different months that we might be working with this. So uh, we want to make sure that this is going to be configured. This is all default settings. If you want to change this, you need to make sure you do it right now before you begin. Uh, then you'll go here to apply, which will apply your changes and then it'll take place and actually save your data logs to where you'd like to save them. So you could change your location. You could change how it's going to be saving in the file names. It'll be your choice. I usually leave the default settings here. That's going to be sufficient for me. Click OK. Now, we have our two options that we can work with here. We have our start streaming option or our start capture option. The start streaming option is going to allow us, again, use and look at the real-time data coming out of our ECU. So all the sensor data, how the ECU is uh, running, how the engine's running. So all the information is going to be there, but we are not able to save that. That's going to be our start capture function. So our capture will save it to disk, which will save it to that folder location we just talked about. So we have our two different options we can work with here. Um, we also have alternative to going right here on our screen. We could go right into our icon. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.